It's time to face the cupcakes. Come on, Bella. Everybody's waiting for you. There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Come on! Hello? Shh! No backing out now. Surprise! Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first. All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and... I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell! What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land! Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mob Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their Maiden's Feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. Uh, they're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. 
Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? <laughs> yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Grandpa Beastender? Eh? <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Hiding them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. I remember I had it, and then... Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Ah, uh, why not? Don't touch the red ones! Mom made those just for me! You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. I think that's supposed to look like Magchathra, my handsome date to the prom. Oh, where is that darn knife? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramp, I'd better go find that. This stupid knife is ruining my daughter's special day. You eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it's her special day. Let her have all the cupcakes she wants, except the red ones. For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. Oh, no luck. For me? No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. 
Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster? I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold. Awe-inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chothra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chothra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chathra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast! Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you! This can't be right. No, it's not right! I should be in the center. Ha! <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I make my Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm, sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Set Why don't you come over here and give me a ride? Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh. No more ugliness, girls. More when the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. I hear him! Look, there he is! Big dumb. 
Tommy. Now that's a sloppy eater. Want to trade something for a bite of that? How about something bubbly? Want to trade something? Need a towel? Nope. They talk. How about the satisfaction? Never mind. Just wanted to be coming Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Should have been me! Okay, here we go. That's right. It's my How time. about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best assets from Mark Charles. He'll be looking for us. Oh, it's not over. Well, it's Need a utensil to eat that? Yeah. No thanks. I feel well, he's obviously made his decision. I don't think I could hit her from here. Need a towel? Open the bottle. Here. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even if... Just I could probably slip it on her if she were a little closer. Why don't you want this corset? I thought you were into that kind of thing. Please. That thing is so huge, it's like trying to put handcuffs on a straw. Seems small to me. <laughs> I could cut myself out of this dress, but without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. Don't need it. A little water isn't going to kill me. No way am I putting that thing back on. Nothing left to cut. Hey! Need a towel? I think you got a little maiden on your cheek there. No? Over here! Hmm, not working.
a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Are you part vulture or something? How can you think about food? Mr. Smooth. You birds want to help me kill Mom Chathra? Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe, we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you wrote in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully, the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. 
Good luck topping that one, <laughs> this Mel Mound. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chakra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chakra. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that oaf fell short. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't float, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Geez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Want to give me a lift? No? I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? 
He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Hmm, maybe this sign is only for birds. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... What? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it.
Hi, Birdie. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Don't take this personally, Bird, but I gotta get out of here. Please place your offering into the Bowls of Enlightening. It's empty. Yes, that is why I said that thing about making an offering. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. Want to help me kill Mom Chathra? What do you birds do for fun around here? Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> your dad's pretty funny. He used to be, before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. 
We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Those don't look like... You a friend of Jessie's? Hi there. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh, it sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. I can't just stab any bird that gets in my way, at least not from down here. Looks like some kind of hatchery. Smells like one too. Well, I'll let you get back. Say! That's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh... I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Hey, think you could make me some cloud shoes that were more my size? Sure, come back in three weeks. Three weeks? Four, if someone makes me drop my knife again. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Any idea where I can find Jesse's? Well, I'll see you. Just passing through. Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the... Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. I can explain. I was...
taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and... Hey, wait, wait, who are you? You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this bridge and I can't reach the back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Well, you hang in there, kid. Please unhook my underwear from the branch. Can you just please unhook the... Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and h help me! Hey! Great! Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it! <laughs> And I thought I was clumsy. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Well, I'll see you two later. Well, I'll see you. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Look, well... How about a nice pair of comfy shoes? No thanks. Got some already. shoes would keep you out of this kind of situation. I'll remember that next time. If you help me down from here... Thank you. 
so what's new out here? Hey, well, I'll leave. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Hi, you birds want to help me kill Mogchatra? Hey, whoa, what did my mom make those shoes for? An elephant? works on nests. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable... Need help getting down? I've got a ladder. No, I'm never coming down. a ladder to get up there. I think she'll find that an adequate replacement. Boy, is this thing heavy. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Extendable. Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though they're too big for me. Hey, 
Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Hi. Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though... Right, turns out I am. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. It's empty. Yes, that is why I said that thing about making an offering. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Can you help me kill Mog Chakra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Why do you have laces and a big bow in your cloud? Oh, why, uh, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. the weight limit is on that ladder. They should post a placard or something.
Hmm. He's breathing. Ooh. Better let him sleep. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? Uh? Wait! Oh, no! Sorry. They're coming! I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? I do have feelings, but you didn't hurt them. That old spruce then. Or maybe, hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical, but unique. I've got just the thing. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to, if only I had some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem. Really? Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Want some fruit? Yeah, actually I could use this in my detox smoothie. Hi. 
Hi. Hey, Bella. Catch you later, Kurt. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chat. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. I feel like I should hear what it has to say first. Hmm. Do I want to help the... I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murderer! axe psychopath! Right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it! What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her! Turned her into a... A stool! Oh, oh God! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding, murderous humans, so get lost. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave me. Hello, Shellmound. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet.
spot. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Is this a trick question? No. Let's just call it an exploratory survey, that's all. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds with a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Hey, about your buck. It looks terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist? Or a girl wearing half a dress? Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> you maidens nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mog's. Hey, can I have some of your beast hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. I want to be in the Maiden's Beast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not gonna give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not gonna give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. See you maidens later. Nice. You know, I think this one looks like it could... 
A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. The dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really. We don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the Dead Eye God has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Psh, no problem. Um, could you remind me how the Riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Actually, I can... Bye! Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. How shiny the sun is. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far.
Give me some fruit. Dang. Hey, Bella. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like... Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical but unique. I've got just the thing. How about a nice thing? Catch you later, Curtis. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. Now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal- I'll let you get back to your- to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! I'll let you get back to your...
Marshal Dune? Mm hmm? How about now? Is the construction coming along? Better let you get back. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Oh, oh. Sup, maidens? Hey, are you guys good with riddles? Of course we are. Except the kind where there are words that have, like, two meanings. Oh, yeah, and you think the word means one thing, but it actually means the other thing? Yeah, I hate those. It's not like that, is it? Uh, maybe? Hey, can I see you, maybe? Girls, you need from the... Shh! Here she comes again! Check it out! Fruit! No, thanks. These are our only rogues. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside! Oh my god! It's so simple! Why didn't we get that? Oh man! That's been bugging us all day! But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay. Guess this is where they buried their old god. found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysolation to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? 
Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. It fits. Careful with that device. If it's hooked up wrong, it can be very destructive. Okay, I took it out. But I thought it looked good in it. Careful with that. Hi. Hey. Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts. Okay, see you. I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. Okay, I took it. I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. The top socket is... Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is... There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. On second thought, the top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my... There, it's back. There, good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right... Hi. Hey. Any luck? Okay, see you later. On second thought... Hey, put that laser coil... Looks better here. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it.
But how could we both have had the same exact thing? Hey, can I get you guys? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Hey, did you guys see the dead eye god? She must have heard us talking. Look, it was only a shared vision. Perfectly normal among devoted people. Especially when they've been standing up all day. The blood goes to your feet. What is that strange symbol I see all over the pyramid? You mean the Gamethus? That was the sacred symbol of the Dead Eye God. It is said that in his day, the Dead Eye God would draw the Gamethus for all his followers. It was very important to him, and so we worship it to this day. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. All right, girls, time for the talent portion. What's up, maidens? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietor. Don't you guys ever want? I want to be. See you, maiden. Let's practice. Oh, Mark, shine your light on me, okay? Come on! Come on! Okay, forget about your diaphragms. Just try. To... I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Two, three, four. Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Now, we're not trying to scare Malchatra away, all right? That's the note, okay? Let's do it again. <laughs> Ugh, gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time, it really wasn't me. Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chathra about you, Drusilla. Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Back off, Kirk. My dad is going to have you all poisoned. Marshal Dune? Mm hmm? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my! Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Know what to do, girls. Stuck. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but 
Not to get that laser ready! It's time! Let's charge now! Get that laser ready! I can't reach! I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two! Get ready to fire that thing! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Get ready to fire that thing! Yeah, you recognize- I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Get ready to fuck- Fire away! Oh yeah. Get ready to take the shot! Just a slap on the wrist. Get ready to fire that thing! Gotcha! Get ready to fire that thing! 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 Get ready to fire! Oh! 